Good morning, Knifers. I'm Spencer. And I'm Carson. Today is Thursday, March 5th. World News at 8 is back and with a look at this week's Super to Tuesday results. Take it away, Union Truman. I'm Truman. And I'm Ian. And, and this, this is, is World, World News, News at 8. eight. This week, we're talking about the results from Super Tuesday and the South Carolina primary. First, the South Carolina primary results. In first was Joe Biden with 48.4% of the vote. In second was Bernie with 19.9% and Tom Steyer in third with 11.3%. Buttigieg was in the fourth with 8.3% and Warren was in fifth with 7.1%. Everyone else was below 5%. Republicans did not have a primary in South Carolina. Then, after the South Carolina primary, Tom Steyer and Pete Buttigieg dropped out. The next day, Amy Klobuchar also dropped out. Then, to add more fuel to the fire, Tennessee had at least one tornado. In a moment of being written there are nine people dead. It also affected voting with Nashville voting being delayed one hour. But in the end, the results are as follows. Joe Biden won Alabama, Arkansas, Minnesota, Tennessee, and his biggest win was Texas. He also won North Carolina, Virginia, Oklahoma, and Massachusetts. Bernie Sanders won Vermont, Utah, and the biggest prize of the night, California. In Colorado. Mike Bloomberg won American Samoa. The delegate race currently is Joe Biden in first with 453 delegates. Bernie Sanders in second with 373 delegates, Warren in third with 39, and Bloomberg in fourth with 18. Tulsi Gabbard did get one delegate from American Samoa. In the Republican primary, Trump won every state on Super Tuesday. This puts Trump in first with 859 delegates and Bill Weld in second with one delegate. Thanks for watching. And remember, Missouri votes Tuesday. Next week. Have a good day. Thanks for that update, guys. Our office staff has noted that students are increasingly having lunches delivered from outside restaurants to Nifer. This is not allowed. If a family member is going to bring your lunch, they may deliver it themselves to the main office before they designated lunch time. No other lunches will be delivered to students. There are 730 students in the building. Please show compassion to the office staff by following this rule. Today's after school activities are Chess Club with Miss Norris in room 110 South. Power Hour in room 106 South. Night for Beats with Mr. McAvoy and Mrs. Williams in room 212 South. An 8th grade intramural track in soccer in the South Gym. Check out all the spirit days so you can begin planning your wardrobe over the weekend. Well, that's it for today. Remember, it's Thursday, so grab a book for silent reading. And don't forget, you belong at Nightford. <laughs>